Wait, yo. Ah! Hello. Hello, world. Interweb. This is a little stuffed beluga whale. What do you think about that? That really doesn't matter much, but, uh, saw it sitting around the house. It's pretty dope. Ooh. Let's look at these bangs. Look at this thick, thick cloth. What's going on? Hey world, I'm still alive. <laughs> I promise I'm alive. Oh my goodness. <sighs> I haven't streamed in 10 million years. Million. 10 million. Oh my goodness. I'm just seeing if any of my scenes still exist. We got this. We got raw tablet display. We've got a games frame that I haven't used. We got one with green screen. We got... Oh, I should put myself on the countdown. I should for sure add myself there. We're not gonna do that. We got myself here. We've got... Bam! We got this. This is the most important bit, I feel like. Whoa! Oh my goodness, what else? Uh... Oh, hold on. CC's? Where's CC's at? Oh, I gotta have a green screen for that one. I'm not gonna do that. We're not gonna mess with that. Agar animated. He is animated, right? Oh, oh, he just disappears. Okay. Webcam? Yep, here's the CC's. Heck yeah. All right, so. Oh my goodness. Um, I was watching. Uh, I was watching a uh, Shepherd, a Monster Hunter streamer, who he's basically the only streamer I'm watching at this point in my life right now. But um, I didn't want to stop watching him. I wanted to be streaming my own thing. But it's just so nice to have people talking, and it feels like there's a sense of loneliness, maybe. This is already getting too dark. Um, but, you know, just the sense of like, oh, there's sound in your house and whatever, so. I really, I was dragging my feet doing it, because it was like, well, I was like, what if, what if I put a screen of his stream? That's, that's, I'm sure Twitch is fine with that. I'm sure they're cool with you restreaming somebody else's stream in your stream. That's not some unholy Ouroboros situation. Um, what am I doing? I changed my uh, main frame around because to me that's more important work than doing actual art. So you got this, this is my old frame. Now I made it look like it's an old arcade. That's what I spent my time on. I have a cat cam, which that's working, as you can clearly see. Be right back, that's working. Uh, I had this, but as you can tell, ooh, here's what I should do. As you can tell, my like stream somethings, whatever that, here, here's what we'll do. I'm gonna copy this. This is really good. <clears throat> I had it to where it was at an angle. Um, but whatever... Ooh, that's alright. This is good and stupid. Real good and stupid. How far out does my camera show so we could have, like... Yeah! Okay. See, so, I mean, this is dumb stuff here. This is a Be Right Back screen I had. I did just have this. Oh wait, you can't see it. I did just have this. ka -chow. So, um, I don't know. Maybe I'll just, maybe I'll just leave these things, uh, as it is. Uh, and then there's obviously pet segment whenever one of my kitties comes in, but I've got the door shut because they're being butts. <sighs> okay, I think that's everything. So, the whole point, what am I doing? Why am I, why am I streaming today? Apart from the fact that, gots to, 
Guts to guts to. Or I am going to go crazy. Do you hear me? I'm going to go insane if I do not. If I do not stream something. Um, if anyone's listening, paying attention, let me know if the music's too loud. Otherwise, otherwise we're drawn. Here's what I'm working on. I've been doing like a color wheel challenge thing. Um, and so now I'm doing the tick in blue. He's gonna be a blue square. Although now that I look at it, that doesn't look very blue in comparison to everything. But I think I'm just kind of like blind at this point. Um, goodness. So, <clears throat> anybody who's followed faithfully the intrepid adventures of whatever, uh, I haven't drawn in, well, I've been drawing this whole time. I haven't streamed in lord knows how long. There's been so much life stuff and so much other things going on. Um, been busy, busy, busy. Also been lazy, lazy, lazy. Everything in between. Um, is this the, what I want to draw with? This is what I drew with on there, I think. Yeah, this is the pen I've used on all of it. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm doing the tech, and honestly, I don't feel super super committed to how great it's going to look. And I wanted it to kind of be funny that he's going to be bleeding over into somebody else's panel. I don't know who purple is going to be yet, um, but I'm going to make them have to react to the fact that there is a, there's a large gentleman up in their way. Oh my gosh, this feels so, gosh, this is so, it feels so nice to be streaming again. <sighs> Let's take a big deep breath. Here, we'll take a calming pet segment breath. It's marvelous. It's good to be alive. Glad to have you here. Okay, where were we? I kind of threw some like CRT filters. I don't think you can see it so much on my camera. But, like if you look up in my corner, I've got like a CRT filter that I've kind of like masked out the majority of. You can see it more on the um, art slideshow above me. It's in the corners. I didn't put it on the main screen because I figured that'd be too much. I had um, my Twitter my Twitter uh, handle on uh, handle. I had my Twitter handle on my old frame, as you can see. Yeah. But um, Twitter's burning down, so whatever. So whatever. So right now you can just find me on Instagram. Um... I do need to say this is soon, 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 like within this week, if I get off my butt and do it, I will have uh, prints for sale. Friggin' art of mine you can buy for sale. Prints, I tell you. Um, more on that this week. But people can actually buy things from me. <laughs> Swear under everything only. Oh boy. Alright, let's get in here and, and do some things. Um, so I'm drawing the tick, and if you ask me, which you didn't, but if you did, for some weird reason, Ben Edlund, the creator of the tick, as far as I've seen, is the only person to draw the tick in a way... I mean, he created it, but he's, as far as I'm concerned, Ben Edlund's the tick is the only tick that exists. Um, I've just never seen anyone kind of nail the way he's supposed to look. And so I am just ripping him off wholesale and just trying to emulate that as much as I possibly can. Um, so yeah, I mean, so it, it, it's very much gonna be like same dimensions. I'm even doing the same kind of like angle here, but I just, I don't know. Why reinvent the wheel? Oh my goodness gracious. I tell you what, um, I get so much anxiety before streaming as if, well, for one, as if there's anybody watching, which no offense if you are watching, but, um, yeah, I just kind of, for some reason, get really stressed out about it. Like it's gotta be really interesting or it's gotta be whatever. And all the streams I ever watch are just people playing video games, and 
That's all I care about. Um, can you hear that scritching? One of the cats outside is wanting in desperately. And I don't have anything to offer her. She wants me to give her dry food, but the thing is she'll never quit asking for dry food once I give it to her. She's just a little sting. There's nothing I can do about that. I don't want her to be unhealthy. You know, that's not good. So, I've got to like keep her banned outside. I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, I don't love that she's like stuck outside and feels like she can't come in, but. And so, okay, let me be real with you for a second. I haven't streamed in so long and I get I get, I guess you, what you would consider stage fright. Um, to where I'm just like making lines that I'm like, I don't know what that is. Would I draw that normally? And the answer is probably no, because I'm just like, do things, be interesting. I love how, I don't want to make it like that. It makes the mouth so tiny. If it's not like a huge smile. And I'm gonna deviate from it a little bit just because I want it to look like I drew it and didn't just like completely rip off Ben Edlin. Oh man. Um, speaking of, I don't know how many people... There's tons of people who are probably familiar with the tick because he's, you know, he, he had a cartoon and he's had multiple live action shows. But if you are into um, kind of, you know, nonsensical, if you're into, like, funny, nonsensical comics sort of before, I'm trying to think of a good, hold on, I need to be able to see this, uh, it, it <clears throat> sort of before, oh, I've got this open, oh, what, this, this thing I drew with everyone's favorite character, Zelda? fighting everyone's favorite character, Bowser. Um, this doesn't need to be open. If you haven't read the, what else do I have open? This, I don't need this open. What else? Um, do I have two instances of that open too? Oh my goodness, I don't know how to do anything. Give me, give me a second, give me a second here. I, there we go. <laughs> My goodness gracious, okay. All right, it's the slow, it's slow jam time. Okay, so I just need kind of like a zoomed out view. Um. And I can live up there, and I'll work on this guy up here. Anyway, for anybody interested, if you have not read the OG, like, Tick comic book, there's only 12 issues of it. Um, there's only 12 issues that Ben Edlund himself wrote in like the main storyline but it is so good and if you're like a fan of uh venture brothers or um i'm trying to think of something else that's kind of like similar to that but it is such a i feel like there's a million things that exist kind of like in its world now like that okay that's cool um but i feel like there wasn't much around the time it was getting created um, but it is such a, such a good, irreverent, nonsensical, uh, fantastical, I'm trying to think of other good adjectives for it. It was just such a funny book before I knew comic books could be funny. Um, because at the time, you know, I'm talking like, 
uh, 90s, etc. Stuff was like so super serious. I'm not saying that like Ben Edlin was the first to do it. I'm not saying. I'm just kind of saying for me and my experience, it was like so critical. It's so wild that there was a book that was just funny and kind of had a similar sense of humor. Um, if you like Space Ghost, that's something I think like is, you know, the Adult Swim world in a lot of ways, I feel like kind of owes a lot of its sense of humor, potentially to Ben Edlund. Venture Brothers ended up, um, Ben Edlund was, I think, a college roommate of Jackson Public. And so Ben has written a lot of Venture Brothers episodes, or at least he's part of that process in some ways. Um, oh, music's done. Final fight is done. What are we listening to now? What are we gonna listen to now, baby girl? That's a song about what are we gonna listen to now, baby girl? Do we want? Hmm. Here's what I freaking want to listen to. Gerdern. Um. Monster Hunter music. So that's what we're gonna listen to. I don't know if I can actually like, pick the... Oh my gosh, this is the most chill, calm, good stuff. Let me know if it's too loud, let me know if it's not loud enough. <clears throat> I'm officially in heaven, I'm drawing. There's monster music, monster hunter music going. So I am hesitant to stream on my own for stage fright reasons, but also just because I kind of really like uh, watching the streamers I like watching, and it's, I kind of can't do both. And But I had to make a decision to be an adult, do some streaming, so I'm gonna. He just has such hilarious, like, look at this. Um, am I even drawing on the right layer? I don't think I am. What layer is this? Where'd that even come from? It's supposed to be down here. I am very nervous that that is something important. Okay, that's that, whatever that is right there. Anyway, um, goodness gracious, it's just so nice. I, you know, I, I'm hesitant and scared or whatever, but like, it's such a, in the words of Fred Rogers, it's just such a good feeling. To know you're alive, such a good feeling. Something inside. Um, there's been a lot of life stuff that's happened. Um, there's been a lot of work things that have happened. Just a whole bunch of things. Um, I'm in the process of trying to find a new, um, another something. I don't know whether it needs to be graphic design or what it needs to be, but another something to kind of help cover some expenses and stuff. Um, that is not a, that is not meant to be a, uh, a sympathy anything. I'm just saying, it's a life thing. Um, here's what I wanted to show real quick. I think it's so funny, like, why I think Ben Edlund is the only person who's good at drawing the tick. It's like, basically his head is just this shape. It's so funny. I feel like he really nailed like figuring out like exactly the proportions of his head and it's just so goofy and his eyes you know sit in here somewhere and the chin is like critical but the chin isn't just willy-nilly like I don't know it's it's wild be a pro I'm gonna just delete it all right here we go so I'm gonna do you know as close as I can without just being a complete rip off of it and then we'll just be done with it I love all this stuff 
all this little, uh, just kind of like, he accentuates the kind of brow. And just does, you know, he just does really cool things. I'm gonna do it, but I can't rip it off too much or I'm gonna feel like a freaking hack. You know, like this stuff. Anyway, um, that is as good as I need. I'm gonna give myself a little guide just for his ears. They're basically cones, big thick cones, and then at the end, he's got these little antenna. All right, and that's basically all I need. So we're gonna get this picture out of the way. Mmm, yum. You taste that? The taste of art. We're artin'. We're artin' so hard. Um, new things, new things. What's been going on? I'm using this out a little baby bit. What's been going on? Um, I've been to the doctor a lot lately. That's been real not fun. Um, everything's turned out mostly okay. So, you know, let me just head you off right there. But like, I'm getting older and that crap's no good. That mess is no fun. And I guess I could like go into the whys in the house, but it's sort of not necessary. Um, had a bunch of tests, everything's okay. I don't like that brow that I did. I should be down here, I think. So, we'll just leave that at that. Um, I don't know. What else? What else is going on? Um, what, what have we been big into lately? I'm going out of town all the time to see uh, Caitlin's family. That's always good. I don't know. What else? You tell me what's going on with y'all. What new fun things y'all been getting into? Is your dad still big into those trains, for instance? You know, stuff like that. I don't know if I want any of that right there. It's not necessary, so I'm not gonna bother. Mm. Let's see, he's down, so the light will be coming. Okay, I'll just mess with more shadow later. I do like that face, I think it looks okay. I do sort of need to tweak my setup. I don't have like really good access. My left hand and my keyboard down here. Um, I've got an old Wacom tablet which I will forever be grateful for because it was gifted to me. What an insane gift. Um, but it's big and it's older and so it takes up a lot of space. And just trying to kind of figure out where to, where to man maneuver everything around it, this sort of a thing. So, um, yeah. I usually do like a million roughs of something before I kind of commit to like doing final inks because um, what's a good what's a good reason for that I I think it's just kind of like fear I I don't want to like make any decisions and don't want to whatever so I will like revise and revise and revise and revise for a million years until I'm like okay now I'm ready to move forward and by that point I'm like so bored and so done of what my original idea is you know so I'm trying at least with these ears <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spend forever trying to like make them super even and even him in this picture like in general I just need to be on stream I need to be doing something making something and finishing it you know
Let's see, but now I'm like one, two, three, four. He's got about four eerie things. Yeah, four chunks. All right. One, two, three, four. I was making this frame, I made this frame today, this arcade border thing, you know, with the bezel and all that. I made that today. And uh, I made it in Photoshop because my main, uh, my main file is in Photoshop. And man, jumping back and forth between Krita and Photoshop is maddening. There's so much that is the same and just enough stuff that is different. Woof, I say. Woof. Um. Anyway. Bum, bum, bum. Something else I want to get into doing is I, I've only like kind of toyed with the idea but I feel like I'm in the middle of projects I would like to do more game streaming I've done it a little in the past I never kind of like commit to either finishing something or whatever it's just sort of a it's like on a whim and I'd like to I like video games as much as the next guy. Um, but it's also, you know, such a saturated field. What is, uh, what is Scott Van Dusen bring that other streamers don't? Um, and another kind of big thing about that is every, you know, all the video games I'm playing, this is this is the old man coming out. All the video games I'm playing, um, that's just time I could be doing art, and that sounds like such a kind of absolute absolutist thing, or I don't know. It it sounds kind of harsh, but like it's the reality. As I've gotten older and sort of realized, like if I want to, you know, like you get good at the things you spend your time at, and I love doing art. I really do. I want to be better at it. I want to be as good at it as I can be. And, um... You know, I... You get rusty so quick. And... So... So either I keep doing art, and... That's hard for me too. I've got, I've got, you know, anxiety and ADHD and everything. Oh my gosh, look at that wine. Okay. Um, it's difficult to like make yourself get up and do something hard. And art can be really hard, and it's you know it can be work. And instead of doing work, I would much rather just kind of have like a dopamine hit. Oh my gosh, it's so shaky. And video games kind of provide that like immediately. Ugh, why is this line so gross? Is my hand really that shaky? Age. It's just one of those things that I have to kind of like measure out like Am I playing video games as a like form of entertainment or am I doing it because I kind of I'm just trying to escape? Which I don't think is wrong either, but like it, it, am I using that as a crutch to not do work? Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad to be doing this. 
I haven't looked up at the um, slideshow. I don't know if there's like a huge gap of time, if it's rolling okay, if it's doing what it needs to be. I tell you what, streaming, if you want to see somebody's like naked anxiety, you can just hear me like worrying about everything. Is that okay? Is this okay? Trying to be chill. What would my little beluga friend, what would he talk about? This dude looks so chill and so like happy to be alive. He's not sweating anything. Look at that guy. That dude's not sweating anything. I need to be more like that dude. Just saying. Hmm. I'm also not really like warmed up. I think there is for sure something to be said about like warming up. I didn't used to think so. It's a problem when you're like self-taught. You just have all these assumptions and you're like, ah, I don't need to do that. Oh, that's silly. I don't need to do that. I don't need to do that. Because you're just trying to kind of get to a result really quickly and you don't understand like you think you're taking like the quickest way to get there, um, but you're not concerning yourself with like fundamental reasons why, you know, you should or should not do certain things. You know, because who's there to tell you? I remember when I was little, I um, I think I was reading How to Draw Comics the Marvel Way. Um, and I remember they make mention of don't start by drawing the outline of a human body. You know, like you build up, you build up the form and you make like the model, you, the skeleton, but like don't start with like, what they meant was like, don't start like this. Uh, you know, like, okay, here's the outside and here's the neck and here's the shoulders. Like, it was, you know, you you make your forms of stuff and you, whatever, instead of just like, which that's how I would draw. When I was younger, I would like build everything from the outside in. And I didn't know any better. And my mom was really proud of me for drawing. And she was like, oh, well, that's just, you know, you don't need to worry about that. And, uh. You know, it turns out like it, it absolutely is something I need to worry about. It totally was something that like, oh, that was a really bad habit. And it's taken me years to kind of break. You know, but like I can't, I don't blame my mom. She was enthusiastic about me drawing and so proud of me. But it's just one of those things that like, I don't know. You teach yourself, you just assume you're right. At least I do. This is my absolute favorite town music in Monster Hunter. It's so good, I feel like... It, oh, this is the first Monster Hunter I ever played, is Monster Hunter for you. Um, and so, obviously, like... I think the first one you kind of, like, get into and fall in love with, as with anything, is... sort of where your allegiances lie. And so this was my first monster, monster Hunter, and this music to me just feels like it's just so comforting. <laughs> uh, I just feel, I just feel relaxed and good and ready, and got such a good vibe to it.
do we want to do that? Do we want to do him like that? Let's kind of assume where his abs are going to be. And I, I mean, the idea is that he's like folded over. It's kind of hard to... sort of show that. I also wanted to like, you know, my man's got muscles. And I guess they're kind of being squunched. Forget my language, I'm really sorry. So it's going to be a little short stream today, which like, whatever big whoop, like I haven't streamed in months, so, um, you know, I know nobody's really hurting for it, but the idea is, um, I say that because going to a bar class, which is not about a class dedicated to learning how to drink or interact in a bar, it is a class kind of based on like, bar is in like you'd be holding onto a bar like in ballet um i work part-time at a ymca and that line doesn't make any kind of sense i work part-time at a ymca and there's a whole bunch of different classes there and i've just kind of been trying trying them all out i say trying them all out. there's there's a handful that i do consistently but that is one that is on a free night of the wives, the wife and eyes. I don't need to do that muscle, that doesn't make any sense. I'll just kind of make that look more squished. -y. So anyway, that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be working them, them leg muscles. It. We might just do that and let that let that be it. There's gonna be black line here. It's gonna be his boot. Dropped frames, 150. I wonder. I wonder how much that affects on my end. Like what that, what that sort of looks like. If that was something that I was concerned about video game wise, that would be a thing. But. Um, so that. Actually, no, no. That's another bad habit is um, you grow up not learning the fundamentals of bones and anatomy the right way. You get in real bad habits of just being like, well, that's, that's right enough. And you never correct yourself. And so like, how are you, you know, like how are you supposed to, how are you supposed to learn if you, if every time you make a mistake, you're like, nah, that's good enough. So, anyway. Oh, listen to me just gabbing. that he's upside down too so like the shadows are gonna be on the opposite side of stuff let's work on him upside down for a little bit or right side up 
Right side up, I mean. That's just so... I've been trying to kind of like study people who are a lot more intentional with the line choices they make. And um, I think there was just such a tendency for 90s artists, your Liefeld, your Liefelds and McFarlands and your whoever's, and to just have lines for line's sake. And that was a bad, that's a bad habit I for sure learned. Because there's guys who do it like really, really well and are super duper intentional with every line they make. Um, I'm flipping it back over. And I feel like that sort of separates like more mature artists. Not to claim that I am one, but you know, I would like to be, so. Part of that is also getting over yourself and just doing the doing the girder and thing and plan wise I um I think I'm gonna try and start illustrating my personal project, this like wrestling book that I've been sitting on and formulating for friggin' ever. Just really like afraid to pull the trigger on doing any work on it. Falling into the world building trap and just kind of um, finding a million excuses to, to not work on it. Everything being research. Oh, I'm researching it. I'm researching other books. I'm million reasons to not actually like do a thing you know and then I'm just afraid I'll get to the end of my life and be like well I never did that project that I had researched and researched and talked such a big game about that's the thing like I don't even like all these little kibitzy lines that I feel like I'm doing, but... kind of apropos nothing but maybe I'll start taking commissions and that's something I'm also kind of afraid of to do um, for some reason I just actually the foot wouldn't be bent like that I would do this if his toe was up that chunk would come up come up to greet the toe and that's something I've said daily people and you know it doesn't make sense to anybody because well part of it is I never have actually said that but it's really the thought people are excited about <laughs> okay moving on new joke I don't 
know how much I want to mess with a foot like that. I think it's fine. Alright, let's think. Muscles in the leg. It's probably something doing... I know there's things that connect right at the hip. Um, you'd have like your glute. Probably like that. And then a muscle that comes up in there. too much. Well. That kind of makes more sense, I feel like. And then I almost feel like that should come out from there instead of over here. like that, okay. Alright, we'll do that and be good with it. Stretch it. Stretch it out. Stretching it out. Um, here we go. Oh. oh. Got a crick in my neck from sleeping all jank. I'm gonna go turn the fan on in my room. Be cool. I'm back. That was not a huge deal. Fan is on. Things are going. Oh. My how, Maru? Okay, he's good. You can see I'll use my beluga as a pointer. You've got your Ryu, Caitlin, myself and Caitlin, Alphonse Muka. Got your way. You got your uh, Castle Crashers, Aomaru and Genjiro, X Men from the arcade, Shamus. You got Lil Mac knocking out Soda Popinski. You got Castlevania. Pictures of stuff. This little mini baby tour. We are almost, let's see, I need to, that's where his bicep is going to be. Uh, yeah. Is this, what music is this, Cathar? Cathar?
That's a fun little vein. Oh yeah, I was working on like a dumb Bob Ross inspired, um, actually I don't like how the vein is like too connected. We're going to put it right here instead and not have it connect. Here, I'll show you what I'm talking about in the stupid, um, I don't know if I want to treat it like an intro, ah, no, treat it like an intro, or what, oh no, actually, it just needs to curve, it just needs to be like, like that, yeah, we'll just go with that, let me see if I can pull that up, if I have that in here, See the inner workings of things. Something is very quiet. Why is that music so quiet? Oh, got gotcha. you. It's those super chill versions of things. Check, check, check. Make sure my mic's on. Make sure the music's on. You can come up a little baby bit music. Yeah, look at this. I think you can see where that's going. We should just make this real right now. Well, yeah, get out of here. That is so dumb. I wonder if we would, that could be like an intro. Here's a, okay, let's just go ahead and make it real. Is it a PNG? It is. <laughs> Here we go. We can put that in the greetings one. This is very good. Hmm. Although I'd want to, obviously you'd want a different, yeah, you need a whole new scene. That's what you need. So we're going to put the greeting stuff. This is a nightmare. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. This is what you people, what I need to be doing. Yeah, look at that. It's real good. Do you want to delete that? I'm going to save everything else except for 3D glasses and CCs. Okay, I, don't need, I just need those things. Yeah. Sorry, my bad, my bad, sorry. How good's that? Oh, this is the dumbest thing in the world. This is so stupid, and I'll probably use it once, if that. I mean, seriously. So, Here's what we'd be talking about, I guess, really. I need to, I wanna, I wanna like green screen something. This is really good. And so then I'll also add display capture. Tent. 
tablet. This is how good streaming happens. I like tilt it just a bit. Oh yeah. I can give it like a little judge, not like a ton, but. Just enough of a judge. Man, it really doesn't want me to like get in there too much. There we go. Actually, you can stand to be judged a little bit more. That's really great. That's very important. You know, this is really good stuff. This is good streaming content for sure. I know what, I know what, you know, I know what people want and I'm not afraid to give it to them for sure. So, basically, I guess I could, can I draw from here? Yeah. This is so stupid. I'm gonna do this for a second. Um. Alright, my, okay, you can hear me. Okay, everything's good. This is perfect, yeah. What does, like, the profile of my head do? I've got to, like, be like this. Oh, no! This is... Sorry. I should make... I should at least make his head, like, round so I can have, like, my head be there. You know what I'm talking about? Here's what I'm talking about. Here, I'll show you. Because it's, like, cut off. So here's what we'll, we'll do. This is very, uh, some Ouroboros garbage. Um, I'm just saying like this. Like even that. Yeah, okay. Man, it is really stupid. This is a very stupid thing. Anyway. So. I feel like I should make my head just a little bit bigger so it's always filling it up. Yeah. I can't move my head like this, which is probably perfect. Just for maximum stupidity's sake. Let's see, if my hand, you can't see it, but I'm looking at it. So we have that bone and then that does like that. And then we've got the big meat of the thumb right there yeah I need to make this I need to find a way to just get like a video loop of him like raising his hand to the thing um I'm taking a look at my I think this bone needs to come down. I like right there. Dun, 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 dun. I could put stuff in the background. I could probably put. I could put like a fainter version of like the canvas or something. I don't know. It doesn't matter because this is stupid. But I hope you love it. I hope you love this as much as I love this. All right, I'm look, 
looking at my wrist to see what things do in it. I'm not going to keep this on here forever. I'm just doing this as a joke. As a little goof. We did it. We beat Monster Hunter, guys. I hope you feel good. Lord knows I do. What's coming up next? Is that it for Monster Hunter? Song-wise? Oh, we got the intro. Okay. Uh, what do the veins do? Where'd the cheese go? You know? You know? That was just for my brother. Where'd the cheese go? Okay. That looks fine. We'll go with that. Let this one go out here. Kind of shave this down a little bit. That's good enough. That's gross. This is great. This is good stuff. I wish. I wish you could pay me for this, for how good this is. It does deserve to be paid for. Oh no, and if I change how I'm standing, my head... No one cares. This is so stupid. What's... Okay, if I'm like, if got my hand on the... I've got my hand... And the fingers like you wouldn't even see. Yeah, I feel like you're not gonna see much of the rest of this. My cat Stella is outside being very upset that she's not in here. Problem is, all she wants is food. All she wants to do is dance, right? So, you know. How many people do you think are like big into those like Robert Palmer deep cut jokes? That's not even Robert Palmer. That's freaking uh. That's he's in the Eagles. Don Henley. All she wants to do is Hey! Yeah, Don Henley, you got it. Alright, I'm switching out of this god awful. There we go. Man, I hate Don Henley too. And you can you can take that to the bank. Screw that, dude. I mean I guess I don't really have any like beef with him, but I'm turn my music down a little bit. But I can't tell you one Don Henley song. I'm like, <laughs> how like excited I would be to hear. Not in the slightest. It's on sight. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude, what's up? How you doing? Chum 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 chum. Jen, Jen, Jen. I guess that's all I'm gonna do. I got the feet. I got the leg. Oh, I'm gonna do shadows. Doing all right. Been trying to build up a little game music composition portfolio. That sounds radical. Making that compies. Hey. Charles up in here. Uh, Scott, did you watch the Black Myth Wukong trailer? It's a it's a Scott has video game. No, did they just show that on Gamescom a second ago? Um, or is that a trailer that's just been out? I know Gamescom is going on. Yeah. So, no, I should I should watch it. 
Who, do you know who's making it? By the way, the music is drowning your voice out just a touch. Get out of here, music. Chill it down. It's a very good trailer. He's a very good lawyer. Um, China is ma- <laughs> The, the PRC has come together in a goodwill bid with Black Myth Wukong. Look, somebody's gotta make it, and if the entirety of China won't, then who who will? Answer me that, scientist. <sighs> is that better, music-wise? I brought it down a little bit. I can bring it down more. Black China. Black China Wukong. I saw, so I didn't see that on Gamescom. I did see, uh, what was it called? Crimson Desert? Which I didn't think I would care about, but it's sort of like, I guess it's like Black Desert Online, but with kind of like a single player slant, and it looked real neat. It seems like all this stuff is, you know, basically like an Unreal Engine um, Breath of the Wild kind of deal. Maybe. There's that. I don't know. I don't know nothing about that. Yun, 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 yun. What can I draw? Okay, there it is. Um. Daniel, what all kind of like, uh, what kind of music stuff have you made so far? If you're doing like portfolio wise, I like this brush. Is this what you've been using? Uh, yeah, I, I'm trying to think if I, I don't remember if I made it myself or I downloaded it and kind of tweaked it, but I friggin love it. It just has like so much like texture to it. Um, so far, I've just got a dungeon theme and a village theme. That's rad. Jen, what are you using to record it? Do you have, like, Pro Tooly stuff, Reaper? What's she, what's she doing? Give me the dates. Uh, yeah, right? I want to hear those too. Oh, I got to show you both something really, really stupid. It's kind of my crowning achievement. Okay, so Ableton is my main um, DAW, and then I'm doing most of the instrumentation through my rather expensively built over the years contact library. Okay, so it's like, so far nothing with even bleeps and bloops. All right. Dude, that's awesome. Show me things when you have things to show. Uh, but rather timpani, strings, horn sections, horn sections, flutes, clarinets, etc. Man, love it. And I just bought a virtual lute, which has to be <laughs> brought in at some point to get all baroque. You know what they say about baroque music? Because I don't, and I don't think there's any jokes associated with it, but, you know. So, uh, I can maybe, like, Instagram you. Yeah, dude, absolutely. Get Waroke, go broke. That is what people have been saying. That is the joke, yes.
Get Waroke go broke. This is not a poli- I'm talking to you, X-Men and viewers at home. This is not a political stream. I won't have your whatever. Listen, guys, hang on. That's real dumb and real good. Um, oh, that reminds me. Nothing political about the X-Men, huh? No way, man. They're just like cool. People want to make it all. I'm okay. I'm not even going to like play around with this because 100% things being political is good. Um, I'm not even going to joke around with this. Like some rando who's never. They're going to show up in stream and be like, that guy's a douche. Um, so I'm not even going to screw around. But I sent him. Oh, thank you. I heard my thing. Things are going ding. Um, I got to show you both. My biggest claim to fame. Hold on, let me. I'm a little taller now. I just got taller, guys. I hope you're excited. Um, look at that bang. So I follow this streamer who mostly does like Monster Hunter stuff. Man, a scene I really think has been missing from the X Men movies is a shopping montage set to "Oh You Pretty Things." You know it. You know that's true. Look, be be the change in X-Men movies you want to see in the world. Um, Gotta make way for Homo Superior. It's in the song. <laughs> no way. It's not political. Um, Here, let me... Sh I want to show... <laughs> I want to show you my biggest claim to fame. I've been following the streamer who does Monster Hunter. Who He basically just... He plays Monster Hunter stuff all the time. <laughs> Um, he had recently been talking about, he wanted to make a VTuber called Gapy, which was basically like, you know, an Ace Ventura situation. You get it, right? And I was like, oh, let me, uh, I'll draw it for you. And so I drew it and I sent it to him and he's now made it an emote that like people are using on the reg in their stream and it's the dumbest thing ever and it's like I'm so proud of it and it's the stupidest thing in the world yep so I drew this and it is the most successful art I've ever arted I couldn't be more proud. Uh, whoop! <laughs> Miles just got off the bus. He wants to say you're awesome. Miles is awesome. Miles, you're the best. I know. I didn't mean to be glad Miles could walk in for that. I'm sorry. Just tell him it's some kind of monster. Yeah, that is my bad. The stream is no longer PG-13. Well, look, the bad man, <laughs> he liked it. The bad man's gone now. That's what, <laughs> that's what the Metallica documentary was about. Yeah, it was weird. It was mostly their therapist being like, guys, why do you keep drawing this instead of writing new songs? And they're like, we just love this idea. So there's that. Daniel, have you ever watched that whole thing? It's amazing. Uh, let's see. He just asked who you're drawing. Is that some kind of Batman? Some kind of Batman. I mean, that would be pretty good. Saint Anger character design. Yeah. It's the tick. Miles, your dad knows all about the tick. Parents. It's up to you to decide when it's a the good time. It's the right time to talk to your children about the tick. Let's see. Don't let the government tell you when you should talk to your kids about the tick. Still weird to me that my high school friend Jamie Groover was like, has like written so much of the tick canon in a point. 
Man, I forget. You have told me that, and I forget that that is a true thing. And that's, that is also weird to me. <sighs> that's pretty rad. Did he work on, like, the shows, or did he do... Did he, was he on, like, the books? I forget it until I see the tick. Yeah, sure. Let's see, here's what we're going to do. That might be it for Moha music happening. What do we got next? Let's do something else. What are we going to listen to, baby? I don't think he's done anything involving the various TV versions. I think he just got over, he just took over the book. That's, that's bananas. That's all kinds of bananas. Just craze. All right, let me know if that's too loud. My stuff is royalty free, so if you want to play it over the stream, ooh, okay. Note and noted. I will. I will do such a thing when I get all that. I'm gonna get all that jazz set up. This is also my first. This is my first stream in like six trillion years. Um. So I'm still trying to get everything figged. Laser time is starting up. I know. It is so it is so tied to them at that point. But I mean, you know, like what? Am I I can't deny anybody using such a dope song. It's rad cuz it's rad. Tim Fallon knows what's going on. Okay. I don't think I want to do too much shading on this, frankly. But, oh no, how'd I get so big? I moved my head just a little and now everything's ruined. Perfect. I've never been able to watch any of the live action tick because to me it's an impossible character to adapt into real life. Yeah. It's like I really like the, I like, I really feel like both iterations are kind of the best that you could do at the time in some ways. Like I think Patrick Warburton is kind of a great idea. And I really like Peter Serafinowitz. But you're right, it is such a weird oh. I just let's see. Agreed. And I like Griffin Newman a lot, and I couldn't really cast a better Arthur. 100%. 100%. I feel like Griffin's like such a stinking good Arthur. Um, but it is a weird, I don't know, it's such a weird deal. And there's part of me that just sort of wishes, and this will never happen, but like Ben Edlund, I, I can't do this. Um, I just want Ben Edlund to... write what he thought issue 13 was probably going to be, which, I mean, for all I know, he probably told Jamie and was like, here, finish it. And if that's the case, then I need to jump on that crap like four realsies. Yeah, Griffey is a, he's, he's a good dude. I say as if we know each other. Pop, pop, pop. Cha, cha, cha. So we're going to get into these Silver Surfer deep cuts.
Ugh. This is a real jam right here. If I was still playing live music, I would cover this. Yeah, dude. I'm telling you. With that echo? I'm telling you. If there's anyone on this planet who gets what that is, it's, it's gonna be you, Daniel. The KIDD. -D. So it looks like Jamie, aka Benito Sereno, first wrote a story in the 20th. Benito, okay. 20th Century Special, and then he was the primary writer when the new bi-monthly started in 2009. Not sure how current that series is, but I don't think anyone else has written one since. Yeah, good. Okay, that, that joke was for you to, alone. Because no one else in my life gets it. Um, super educated, I'm smarter than Spock, Spock. You am talking about with that echo? I'm telling you. Um. Just go ahead and use like. Well, I might. I'll tweak it a little bit. Okay, so this is right here. We're gonna go in this direction a bit more. So there's only two like stage themes, and this is the other one. So it just loops between, well, each level has one or the other. Um, and then the laser time theme is the intro of the game. But all these are good. Tim Fallen, man. This is a uh, Silver Surfer for the NES. Um, but Tim Fallen has done a bunch of stuff. He did uh, X-Men and Spider-Man Arcade's Revenge, which is not a good game, but the music's wild in it. Um, I remember playing that at your house. Yeah, it's awful. It's um both silver surfer and this are infuriating they're like crazy hard i don't know why tim fallen ends up doing the music for games that are just they're like licensed marvel games that are way too hard But like the little I've like kind of like looked into him, it seems like he was sort of, I don't know if he was like in a band of his own, but like he was this music composer who very much has like a 70s prog sensibility to him and kind of didn't treat like making music for games 
any differently than he treated making like prog prog rock and so he's like well and so there's like solos and you know like all of his songs have like crazy I mean they are so proggy and they uh, they're just ridiculous they're super self-indulgent in like a great way and like I think he did I wonder if he did Plock too he's got like a weird he's got a weird discography as far as video games are concerned That's what's cool about video game music. Basically, every genre is up for grabs, and the only exception is to slap. The only expectation is to slap. Honda P. Honda P all the way. Okay, well, Plock to me is an underrated near masterpiece. Did he make the music for that? Plock. Music. Who did the music for Plock? Tim and Jeff Fallen. All right, there you go. He did, yeah. So, I mean, he's got a he's got a weird hit list for sure. But all this stuff, all this stuff sounds like him, and unlike any of the other music happening, kind of like around it. Pictionary. <laughs> I haven't heard that stuff. I haven't heard his Pictionary jams. Of course he did it. That's the other bizarrely great opening track. Of course he did it. Now for real, play it. Okay, uh, the Pictionary theme. Hold on. We'll pull it up. Uh, oh, hold on. I've got I've got something for this. Yeah, we're gonna listen to this. Pictionary NES. Is it for the NES? All right. Yeah. Okay. Where'd you go? Why can't I see it? Oh, duh. Okay, hold on. Here we go. Yeah, dude. Like, that's so Silver Surfer, that's so whatever. Why is Pictionary going that hard? This is great. Yeah, this is high intensity Pictionary. Oh man. This freaking rules. Pictionary has no business going this hard. <laughs> okay, hold on. We're gonna we're gonna enjoy en enjoy some sweet sounds of uh of other things for sure. See what else we got going, Pictionary wise. Everyone's drawings are all wiggly because they're nodding their heads with tr It's true. Let's see. Pictionary, where are you at? 
cleaning this whole soundtrack. All right, so we just hit that drawing game. <laughs> this is so good. This is transporting me. <laughs> this is incredible. Now, Tim, it's a Pictionary game. We don't expect much. So, you know, just if you need to phone it in, phone it in. No big deal. All right. What's next? What we got? Time for mini game one. See, this one's different because it goes da 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 dun 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 dun. Pictionary. 
I mean, is this just like, hey, you're drawing. Take a time out to... What is happening right now? I've never had an easier time coloring a character, P.S. This is marvelous. Oh, no! <laughs> the answer is weird. Like, it shows a building with people in the windows? <laughs> Barney Mango is here! So I don't know if you're saving them or what. Um, Mango, we are currently discussing Tim Fallen and his video game uh, soundtrack expertise, but this is the soundtrack for Pictionary for the, S or for the NES. And I guess there's a mini game where people... I don't know, we're trying to figure that out. None of that matters. How's it going? How are you? I feel like that's so loud. Is that really loud? Love, you know, just try it. Okay, there we go. That was like cranking through the speakers. <laughs> oh my goodness, oh my goodness. This stuff's ridiculous. In all the best ways. I just plopped on the couch and my cat plopped onto me. That's marvelous. I... If my cats were behaving, I say to a closed door, then I'd be more than happy for them to be in here, but they're being jerks, so I need to keep them out for the time being. It's a drag. Wait, you're like, drawing what firemen should... Oh. Okay, so in Pictionary, you're drawing what firemen should do to save the people in the minigame. Okay, that's kind of like, that's clever. That's all right. I guess if there have to be mini games in Pictionary, like that's not a bad idea for one. Like we need to add an element of life or death. Interesting. Oh my goodness. Oh no. <laughs> oh my gosh, this music has no right to be this ridiculous. Okay, we're done. We're done cruising. Is that it? It is it. Okay. Whew. Everybody, we went on an adventure. <laughs> Congratulations. Whew. What a journey that was. My goodness. Well, we can keep that Tim Fallen journey going with Spider-Man and X-Men Arcade Revenge. Another prog rock soundtrack for a thing. Okay, wait. All right, how loud do you need to be? Oh, stop. He's got a vibe. He for sure has a vibe.
Oh my goodness gracious. But with the SNES, you can get like different kind of keys going. Oh my heavens, the the sounds at your disposal. Can you imagine? Manga, what's been going on? What have you been getting into? Besides getting, like, the coolest bases in the world. Apart from that, what's been up? Wow, wow, wow. It's got a little bit of a dance, dance vibe going on. thought did you ever actually draw schnapsy from anime never once never once ever in all the time that it was my my handle for several several bulletin board systems never did i once ever actually draw it what a weird thing it was the wild west back then good grief something now I can't remember what it was. I feel like it's Animaniacs related, but to what end, I don't remember. Did they... They didn't reboot that, did they? Or did they try to, like, come back with, like, a new season of it or something? Am I crazy? Did I make that up? Maybe I made that up. It's on Hulu and it's pretty good. Okay, so they did. I'm not crazy. At least in their grid. Okay. They did come up with that. Who? <sighs> when did that come out? That was like a couple years ago, right? And I assume it was the same voice cast because there's no way you could get away with it not being. Uh. Oh, wait. Are we talking about the newer Animaniacs? I have pretty mixed feelings about it. Okay. Discuss. Because I feel like probably both of you were bigger Animaniacs fans than I ever was. 
I'm curious because I would I would not have like a good frame of reference necessarily. I think some of the uh, PATB skits are some of the best ever. Yeah, Daniel, it's not perfect for sure, but I feel like it was way better than I expected a reboot to be. Warner's being kind of jerks now. Hmm. Yeah, that is sort of weird. They're too self-aware. More so than they should be. I like them more as precocious, childlike agents of chaos. <laughs> okay. Were they always self-aware jerks, though? the balance. It's really hard to describe. Fair enough. It used to be like, they just wanted candy and stuff, and then someone would be a schmuck. It's all three of them talking to the camera half the time instead of just uh, using Yakko as the audience stand-in. Hmm. Did any did anyone watch when the Muppets had sort of like a 30 rock-ish show? Does that still exist? Because in my head, it seems like that's such a good idea, but I feel like people didn't like it, and it bums me out, because it seems like it should be just a great idea. But anyway, I'm glad just to have the good parts of it. I do remember that, but never saw it. Yeah, I never watched it either. I'm the problem. Yeah, it was a thing for a minute. I just, I don't know, it seems like that's a good call. I like the format, but the writing was way too adult. Got you. Got you, got you. And plus, they don't have Ruth Buzzy to be their guest anymore. No, but they could... They could still get Debbie Harry back. Yeah. Try who could I think Elton John was on there. Those are like he was like one of the bigger people. Man, watching that first season, there are some hilarious people. I'm just like, I am clueless who this is. Um although they have special guest Linda Ronstadt. <laughs> yep. It doesn't get more special than that, I think. <laughs> the moon shift. I don't even know what. I don't know what that is. I refuse to acknowledge it. I don't know what that is, and I will not. What does she say? Maybe that's what she says. I will not acknowledge it. Go see a Star War. Seriously. They were these performance artists who appeared on The Muppet Show and basically got ripped off. Ripped off to because Cartilage Head and Akewood. Oh, interesting. I sort of wondered where Cartilage Head, like, the ideas for that, because, I mean, that nightmare fuel has to come from somewhere. Okay. Daniel, did you get down with Aquid a whole bunch? I mean, you just dropped a cartilage head reference. I gotta assume. 
deeply, as one should. It was a weird thing. I had a friend ask me about it, and I wanted to suggest it to him, but it was just like, I don't know how in the world I begin, like, I did a whole thing. I sort of don't know, like, how to tell somebody to get into it. It changes so much and becomes, you know, so many different things from just like, it's like, it's beginning is so uh, quaint in comparison to where it ends up. I've had that rat get rejected very hard. Yeah. Kind of, kind of expect in some ways. A similar sitch. It's just so weird. How do you tell somebody to be like, okay, listen, a lot of this is like not necessarily non sequitur, but it's like 100% this guy's sense of humor and his tone of voice. And like, that's why it's so funny. It's because it's his own vernacular and just, I don't know. It's, so much of it is deeply difficult to like suggest, I think. You're either not going to like this at all or it's going to change how you talk. Yep, exactly. What a weird way to sell it to people. But, like, that's, I mean, that's for real. Let's just go ahead and fill that in. appreciate this, but we're going to go for a little different vibe. Somewhere I actually have a signed copy of Akewood Volume 2 with a little drawing of roast beef that Onstad did for me. That's rad. Man, I, I want to have him sign something. Something that Onstad's touched. Tooched. Uh, let's see what about... There you go, Street Fighter 3 for a little bit. We'll see if this just gets to be a nightmare. Uh, I think I need to sign up for his Patreon now that he's back in the game. Yeah, I saw that. I need to probably do, do the same. Although, I'm not going to be signing up for much as it is in the current time being. It's on the list of things. that to do that? No. Nah. I mean, it's not a crime to share a Patreon link. Wait, what? Oh, that's, I see what you're saying. Duh. I'm so dumb. I was, I was I was just like, yeah, sure, go ahead, put a link on here. In case in case for some reason somebody who's lurking doesn't know Chris Onstott's Patreon. This music reminds me that I need to, at some point in my life, check out, um, again, not in the near future, but friggin', uh, what's it called? 
something something cyberpunk the jet jet crying radio deal somewhere in the recesses of the internet i have some gifts where i actually very simply animated some of the strips that already had a suggested animation format that's for real you're gonna have a time composing the purple wedge with ticks leg covering half of it i know and that's that's in some ways intentional like i wanted it that one i i don't you know i'm not gonna be too married to i think it would just be funnier for it to be just super duper in the way let's see should i just do it like that oh. uh like Theodore bouncing his head off the wall into onto his head oh yeah 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 No, you like what? The shading doing the thing? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> Tick being oh yeah yeah yeah. No, I think it's I think it's kind of the only way to have him involved in this. Is to make him break the format. Oh my goodness. All right, I just need to do another shading layer and I'm done with this. This idiot. What time is it? Four o'clock? All right. Whoever's in the wedge can be like smelling nasty <laughs> feet. Exactly. I just want them to be totally inconvenienced by Tech being there. I had drawn it originally where his leg kind of like curved this way and then went up into the like light pink one and he just completely like dominated both of those but that that felt like too much Up at all. Uh, you know who's gonna be in those words? No. I have not figured that out yet, actually. Let me go ahead and crank the opacity of that up, and I'm gonna mask out part of him. Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> yes. In both. He'll be in both wedges. He likes feet. <laughs> hmm? There's always Quentin. <laughs> Quentin. <laughs> hmm, I didn't realize I'd made the tick more desaturated than the actual thing, but that's okay. Hey guys, I found this totally sweet brush. Look what it does. It makes art in seconds. Ta-da.
This is uh, Street Fighter Third Strike. It's got early <laughs> Papa Lead itself vibes. Ooh, it kind of does, doesn't it? Yeah, Third Strike, man. Third Strike's got a decent, decent soundtrack for sure. Okay. I'm just waiting for the next game that brings back El Fuerte. Man, no joke. Kind of hard to go back after mastering that guy. I've got six and I like it and I skipped five altogether, but I really like six. I just kind of put it down because I was in the middle of other stuff. And since then, I haven't picked it back up and I want to, but it's also like, you know, you know how hard that stuff is. But yeah, I was just thinking the other day, like El Fuerte's, I don't know, he is... He deserves a bit of a, a comeback for sure. Because I feel like Crimson Viper came back in like um, Cross Tekken. Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Uh, Rufus, I don't know if he's. He was in Cross Tekken. But I'm just saying, the man is ready. Hmm. Fuerte is one of the only characters not to have any cl uh, anything close to a play like that's for real. And I think that's like, I don't know, that's a big deal. Oh shoot, his foot, duh. Um, Actually, before I do this, put this on this layer. Uh, just, you can live right here. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Have you have you messed with six at all? Yeah. Did I do that? I do that. Wait. Oh, duh. Okay. Yeah, that's that. I haven't played 5 or 6 because I've only had a Nintendo console since PS3. Um, but put L14 in a game and why go outside the family? Hey, understood. Understood. Outside the family. Yeah, I stayed away from five completely. Um, but six is the little I've played of six. I really enjoyed. All right, are you hard light? There you go. Okay, 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 okay. I should go try one at an arcade. I have this mini fantasy of running into podcaster comedian Heather Ann Campbell and challenging her in Street Fighter because supposedly she shreds. Well, that sounds ridiculous and awesome. I don't know if there'd be... I'm trying to think if we would have an arcade in our area that would have like a new good Street Fighter in it. That said, I think she's kind of a hermit. Don't give up your dreams. 
don't give up your dreams. There used to be a really awesome arcade kind of in the Mount Juliet area off Bell Road in a really rundown mall, but I don't think it survived. <sighs> I know, I mean, like the Hickory Hollow Mall obviously like had one for a while, but um, there is a really good, let's see, SF Tag Team, Pack and Pal, Paperboy Arcade, <laughs> good grief. That's crazy. Yeah, I think the only places that I know of, at least near me now, um, only have, are only kind of like retro-y places. Like there's a really great one in Murfreesboro. Um, but yeah, like there's nothing with like current cool stuff. It's late in the game here, but Tick is just so desaturated compared to everyone else. It's true, and I kind of didn't realize it until I, until I, um, but truly everyone is a girl. I did not realize it until I resaturated the, um, the actual, like, color wheel layer. So I'll probably tweak his colors and make him a little more, a little more juicy. I don't regret that I used that term. But yeah, he is kind of sort of paling in comparison right now. And I'll tone down this, bur this light layer, maybe too light. We'll see. Just draw an umbrella over him. <laughs> yep. Solved and solved. I say as I desaturate the highlight layer even more. Yeah, that's like, that's honestly like making him pop more is an easier fix than if you'd been like, you know what you should do is have him be saying something about Hunter Biden's laptop. I don't, you know, like that's what that would be like, son of a bitch. OK, well, that's the nightmare fuel. Thank you for not doing that. Why don't you uh, desaturate? Yes. Thank you. Your head is in the right place. Ah. 
streetcar named Deez Nuts. It's brilliant. Brilliant, I say. Oh good, the kids are roller skating in the house now, blaring kids pop. Well, you're just having a little 80s extravaganza over there. Have you seen the uh, the clip? It's been, I've seen it floating around on Instagram of like, um, I guess it's a kids bop version of Miss Jackson by Outkast and it is rough rough I tell you I don't think it is outcasts original vision some saturating yeah the color behind him is like so 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 blue yeah part of the fun of listening to that garbage is seeing how they replace the adult stuff Whoo! it's something something special let's just move you over this way a little baby bit Isn't there a Kizbot version of Nelly's Deli- <laughs> I mean... I, I can't imagine why there shouldn't be. For this layer. Do I add more or do I just like crank it a little bit or do I change the color of it? You look like this normally. Well, if we did that. And then I can e add an even higher lighted layer. Those are words. Um, let's see. Yeah. Yeah. He's gonna be so shiny, so sheeny. Video game soundtracks got me thinking. Have you seen the Twisted Metal show? I have not seen the Twisted Metal show. Um, I know it's got Samoa Joe in it, which is bananas. Just craziness. And he looks awesome as Sweet Tooth. Which I guess I'd be kind of lying if I said I sort of wasn't interested in like knowing about that lore. It's really fun. It's like big dumb or dumb action. That's yeah, that's awesome. I mean, that's how Twisted Metal should be, the little bit that, like, I... I think Sean got into it for a minute. He had, like, one or two. Um, I 
I think I was really interested in it because um, all of the like endings were very like monkey paw kind of situations. And I thought that was really kind of cool. Um, yeah, it's, uh, he's pretty great in it. I just think they should have let him use his own voice instead of having a Will Arnett voiceover because Samojo already... I didn't realize they did that. I could I thought he was speaking in it. That's a drag. Why would they Will Arnett him like that? Yeah, he sounds awesome already. Oh well. I didn't realize it until later, either because of the weird part. Because the other weird part is that they already kind of sound similar. Huh. Ugh. That was my, uh, that was my... My Will Arnett. Just grumbling. Check back in, colors looking good. Dig it. Yeah, I might I'm trying to think if I'm done with this goofball. I might be. Boom boom. Yeah. I'm a uh, I'm at least done for right now, that's for sure. Alright. This is a tick. There he is. Spinning around. Whoa. Did my art slideshow stop? Nope, there it is. The most critical part of the stream. Okay, that looks, I feel alright with that. Save it, gonna save it, gonna save it. Hup. Hup. that thing down huh I'm gonna stretch it out oh my old body oh mm. 
Hooray! We did it! Oh man, look at that. Oh. I hurt my neck, or I slept on it. Show Heather the Bob Ross. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Hold on. Uh, so I'll pull this up. Let me pull up the actual, an actual file we're seeing. So yeah, I mean, you know, I just, just me working on this. And uh, it's all pretty good. Pretty good, I'd say. I mean, just, we're just adding this. I should get, I should animate it, like do a looping video where his hand raises towards the canvas. But yeah, this is it. This is, um, yeah, superheroes versus Mad Gear Gang. Book it. Book it. I'm about it. Although Mad Gear. My boy, my boy Dam's in Mad Gear. Um, so yeah, this is, this is a good look, I feel like. Um, yeah. Anyway. Then we got pet segment. If any of my pets are in here, but they're not. And then just me yelling at the X-Men. Tell them to chill out. Calm down, please. So, how's that? Book it. Oh, man. But Daniel, what superheroes are you talking about? Oh, man. Who? Who, who, who? I feel like the slideshow doesn't... It stays off... stays off for too long. I need to turn back up. Just like those guys. Yeah, all right. <laughs> these guys. These guys right here. Ooh. Um, yeah. Okay. That's one of these things down. Closing it out. What? What we got? What we got on the docket of things? There's more. I wonder if anyone is out there doing detailed G or Riber in Andre art. I mean, I feel like Andre only because he's technically Hugo in Third Strike. And at that point, he's like Street Fighter canon. But like, Geo Riber? Nah. There's no, you're not seeing a lot of cool 2P. Not a lot of... Was there a bread? Yeah, not a lot of bread. <laughs> there it is. Let's see, let's see. Chop, 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 chop. Oh, excuse me. Um, do you think he was supposed to be Brad? I, or Brett, 100%. Absolutely, he was, there's no way he was not, now that you say that. Had you not said that the rest of my life, and was like, well, I guess his name's just Brad, and that makes sense. But of course, that's what he was supposed to be. Good grief, that's ridiculous. Brett. Brad. Brad. Are you saying Bri? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh, do I not have a file for. Surely I do. Is it not under all this? Boom, cat, goom, cat, goom, goom, cat, goom, cat. Sorry, I'm looking for a. I'm looking for a specific thing. That's very exciting. Ah, there you are. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see if this file will even open. It's a Photoshop file I'm op opening in Crit so we'll see. It's thinking about it. 
Or it's gonna crash. One of the two. We're partying. Did I break Krita? Oh, well, I was thinking about it. I was for sure thinking about it. <sighs> I guess I'll probably probably hop off here in a little bit now that I've finished that thing. I've been going for two and a half hours. I want to go for a little longer, but I, you know, I'm at a good stopping point. So there's that. Oh, buckets. Okay. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. File has opened. I'm gonna get it in some kind of manageable state real quick. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. All right. To me and me only. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna call it there. Um, I'm at a good point. So. Appreciate everybody rolling in saying hey. Um, appreciate you coming and hanging out. Uh, I really want to be doing this more. Here's the Zelda picture I did. I'll just have that on. Um, so, yeah, the plan is. I guess I don't really have a plan. I know my Thursdays and my Fridays are more open, but I will try to be ska er, streaming with some kind of consistency. Because otherwise, I'm just going to go crazy. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Everybody have a marvelous evening. Be cool. Don't fake the funk on a tasty dunk. And I'll just see you on the laters. Alright. Bye!